Hola. Oh, little echo. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today, we're going to three bridges at Via Del Lago. Inside where we're staying, the Coronado Springs Resort. We're actually staying in the Grand Casino Tower. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. I'm really excited to try to eat here. This is pretty much right now their premier dining establishment because Toledo, which is their uh, 16th floor restaurant in the Grand Casino, is closed. So I'm excited to try the food. You can't get a reservation, just so you know. It's walk up only, and it said 105 minutes when we did the walk up. But how long was it? Just an hour. Just an hour. So. If it says 105 minutes, just so you know, it might actually be half that. So, yeah, let's take a look outside and see how Three Bridges is. I can already smell the food from Three Bridges. And as you can see, there it is. It's, it's right there. And Three Bridges is marked by the Three Bridges, which connect it throughout Coronado Springs Resort. The Three Bridges were also made uh, to try to make traveling around the resort a bit easier rather than having to circle all the way around. Uh, you can now just walk straight through, but we have some dining there, so let's head on this bridge. All right, we're on the bridge, just so you know. Uh, five minutes, that's all you have to when they message you. So if your room's far away, be prepared to run, or don't run, but walk fast. Two for three bridges. Sorry, you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes, we just had five minutes because I was playing around with the camera. All right, we're at Three Bridges. Let's head inside. Wow, this is so nice. Here's the bar. Thank you. She didn't even know I was filming her. You're right next to the Grandestino Tower. I can like, this is this is my view as I'm sitting. I wish they would put the little heat lamps on. I'm a little chilly. I feel perfect, but yeah, Sam is a little cold. And we can actually see we're staying right, I think my finger is actually touching where we're staying right now. So yeah, and just so you know, use the Q, QR code. Oh, and, oh God, Pull up. they give you these plates for yes. your mask. Meanwhile, yes, I put my mask down on the table. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not used to being given a plate. Yeah, no, it's good. great. I think every dining establishment can do that. Temp check us, did you say that? Yes, okay. no, I didn't, I didn't say that. Okay, I didn't yeah, say that. Didn't. Yeah, they temperature check you as you come in. So uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna take a look at the menu and then we'll let you guys know what we get. All right, so we got the roasted corn dip. We were gonna get the alotes, but we were told that the roasted corn dip is, a, is more bang for your buck. That was probably easier to eat. Yeah. I'm not a fan of eating off the cob, although I do think it tastes really good. Yeah, yeah. And, and then- We also got the warm and chango cheese dip. Warm and chango cheese dip. So that's two dips. Two dips. We're a big fan of dips. I'm a fan of dips. Yeah. Uh, I also got their signature Via Del Lago burger, which I'm very excited to uh, try. I haven't had one burger yet this trip. And uh, Sam, what'd you get? I got the pork tacos. Ooh. And they ask you if you want fries or fruit. <laughs> this is a very funny I question. wonder if the fruit's really good. Maybe we're missing out. Um, I don't know. I don't want fruit. fruit. Uh, right yeah. Now. <laughs> Sam was cold. So they gave me a blanket. Yeah, they brought her a, a blanket. It's so a pretty heavy blanket. Too. If you're cold, no, you can get a blanket, which I think is great hospitality. It is. Wow, look at that shot with you in your blanket <laughs> next to the Grand Casino Tower. This is a great spot. All right, so here's the cheese dip, and here's the corn dip. It smells. It smells amazing. They both look really good. I think uh, I'll have Sam try the corn dip out first. Maybe, uh, maybe, oh, there you go. Mm. Phenomenal. That's a little spice to it. It's so good. That looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna try the cheese dip first. Which, oh, this looks hot and delicious. Yeah. Look at that. These are good for that corn dip. Also, so they're not that big, which is good. I was worried that we were gonna get like yeah, too no. but 
they're a nice size. All right, so we finally got our food. Sam, your tacos look so good. Right? I think it's like shredded pork. Oh, wow. Yeah. A little carrot on top, some french fries. Okay, I got so extra aioli. This is interesting. What? So, I thought they were going to be like hard. Cause yeah, no, they're soft. Yeah, they're soft. You Traditional tacos are a soft shell flour or corn tortilla, I believe. It's very good. Very good. 110. Eight. Wow. This is the. That's the rose sangria. Rose sangria. They have a sangria flight. They have multiple types of sangria. Oh, Sparkling. wow. Yeah, I was staying away from drinks tonight. So I want to drink a little bit more on our anniversary. I had sangria with lunch. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm going to try my food out now. All right. So this is their burger. The meat looks very good. And that hearing... looks similar to my burger from Ryland Road. Yeah. That I had last night. It looks cooked way I asked. Trying to get everything on. Mm. Sliding out. Yeah, What kind of cheese is it? Swiss? I have to look it up. I don't know. I can't it doesn't taste like cheddar or Swiss to me. It's very good. The meat is very good. Try the fries. The aioli dip, they say. It's tomato aioli. Mm. It's different. It's nice. And then both an eight. They are very good. If things change, I will let you know. All right, so these churros are one of the things that Three Bridges is known for, and they look fresh. They have a little bit of a, which, what was the pepper called? Esper, Esper something. Pepper. Esperella? Esperiel? I don't know. But it's a pepper on the outside. It's like sugary. And they have a nice dip. Do you want to try it first, Sam? Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll be heading back is in so soon. nice, though. Yeah, look how cozy she is. I feel like they're a lot softer on the inside than a regular churro. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. They definitely look fresh. They're, they're very hot. They're good. They're different. Nice. It One doesn't taste like, like a Magic Kingdom churro. Yeah, no. One out of ten. I would give it a seven. Disney's known for their churros, so I feel like this is this is a risky thing for any restaurant to try to do. Yeah. But uh, chur churros are a Spanish yeah, cuisine. It has like a really unique taste. It doesn't taste like a park churro mm. at all to me. All right, I'm gonna find out for myself. You guys can see. I think I'm just gonna try it without the sauce first. Mmm. I like melted in my mouth. This is definitely super fresh, which I think yeah. is making it taste better than a charro. This is really good. Yeah, it's better than like a charro that's been like rotating on a thing, sitting like in a cart. It's so soft inside. That's like a dark chocolate sauce. Wow, that's nice. really good. I mean, this is a, a nine. I think it tastes really good. I just, for me, if I was to choose a dessert, it would be like cake or a cheesecake. It's not traditional. This is very good. And above average churro. <laughs> yeah, these are delicious. I'm giving this a nine, 100%. Wow, so good, right? That is such a great like amenity to have at your resort. Yeah. That was like a great dining experience. It's so beautiful, like being on the water. Yeah. They give you blankets. Yeah, blankets if you're cold. And if it, if there wasn't COVID, you wouldn't just have three bridges too. You'd also have Toledo, which is the upstairs. Rooftop. Yeah, rooftop. That's at, a really uh, nice on-site dining. Yeah, very good. The trails are fresh. 
Um, I'd, I'd give the churros a nine. I know some people who reviewed the churros didn't like them. I thought they were great. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, a dark chocolate dipping sauce, which was very good. They were warm when I got them. Very good churros. I realized we never picked, uh, or, we never, or we never numbered the dips, the corn dip and the queso. The queso, I'd probably give a six or a seven. It did taste like fresh, real cheese, like, I shouldn't say real I cheese, not like plastic. Like it tasted like chili a little bit. Did you? Because it had the meat in it, I feel yeah, like, and the peppers. It was nice. But it, yeah, but it, it was definitely like real cheese, not like that plastic, always melty cheese. It yeah. was real melted cheese, but wasn't my favorite queso I ever had in my life. However, the corn, corn right? Dip, yeah. Yeah. That was on point. Corn was so good. That I would have given a nine to. Uh, and I would definitely recommend staying here. The entire experience I would give an eight. Uh, if you're staying at Grand Destino, this is definitely a spot I would come and, and check it. out. We had a really great uh, server, Yes, Rachel. Rachel. She was so good. Yeah. If you can get Rachel, she get was Rachel. the best. She recommended and a lot of the food, like the burger I got. Burger also, very good, very juicy. Uh, the tomato aioli and the french fries. You're forgetting what Rachel told us. What she, she was telling us about this um, jalapeno ranch sauce that they oh, have. It wasn't yeah. on any of the dishes we ordered, but she was like, you have to try this. And she brought over like a yeah. little bit of fries For and free. sauce after we were done eating, just so we could try them. Yeah, no, she it was awesome. And that sauce That's like above and beyond. was so good. Yeah, great service, great place, great view. We, Got have, the... a, we have a short walk down the bridge, yes. back to our room, so nice. Yes, so it was a great night. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe hit the bell so you know next time we're doing some theme park food stuff or maybe just some food stuff appreciate all of you that watched and liked don't count the days, don't make the days count. we'll see you next time that's all folks i missed that blanket yeah <laughs> <laughs> blanket was cool